Hello my fellow Freedom Builders and welcome back to the channel and to a very quick video here on a Friday afternoon. The thing I just want to mention is that um, we are seeing some uh, the start of the earnings season. I talked about it the other day and uh, as you can see the website I am on is called dailyfx.com. There are a ton of these that you can look at but if we look at dailyfx.com here you just go into calendars and earnings calendar here and then you can choose of course countries and everything I just pick United States and you can choose a uh, low importance medium and high importance I just choose medium and high and as you can see as normal uh, we are starting out with the banks uh, some huge financial institutions and the upcoming weeks two three weeks will definitely be focused a lot on earnings no doubt about that and uh, if we look at it we uh, we had some uh, that started out before market open you can see that here before market opens and we have some no we don't even have some after the markets today but normally there would be uh, a lot of here here before open and then there would be listed the ones after open here as you can see uh, we're standing out Bank of America you can see the the earnings per share and revenue here uh, this is the last the previous one the forecast for this time and then the actual and as you can see Bank of America disappointed a bit uh, on the, uh, the compared to the forecast but beat on earn on earnings Bank of New York Mellon beat on both of them, BlackRock beat on both of them, Citigroup beat on earnings, but uh, disappointed on the revenue. JP Morgan beat on both of them, United Health on both of them, Wells Fargo a bit down here, and Delta Airlines beat both on both of them. What this doesn't consider is the guidance because um, along with the earnings report of course there'll come some guidance and I heard uh, a, a couple of these were out saying yeah well the next year will probably be a bit rougher and um, yes of course it will what is interesting is that when we are seeing these banks coming out with their earnings uh, the banks are making more money when there are when there's a high interest rate because it's easier to to make money on the uh, on, on the difference between taking money in and loaning them out uh, and also the banks have have up their fees massively the last 10 15 years because of the low interest rates uh, so now the interest rate is high they can make a lot of money on there uh, on that and they are also keeping their fees of course they are not <laughs> removing them so there should be a fairly good case in many of the banks I know some of the these are not the usual consumer banks but still um, also uh, what we are going to see is that some of the banks yes they're making more money when the interest rate is high but sometimes uh, a recession follows the high interest rates and that means that the bank will lose some of the money they have lent out to the customers but since we are into uh, an area here that might be some sort of soft landing at least uh, a reasonable business environment I'm not too afraid for the banks here and I think we'll we'll see some decent quarters of them but of course 2024 is being um, it is being branded by the high interest rates no doubt about it and more and more businesses will start to struggle a bit and that also means that Fed and ECB will start lowering their interest rates I think we will see at least three cuts but actually at least if the the number starts to get a, a bit bleak later on the uh, on the year I think we'll see some more cuts uh, also Biden will push massively on for that because well he wants a good business environment up until uh, towards November where he hopes to get re-elected um, I will follow this in the upcoming weeks and I'll give you a, a weekly summary uh, I will look at how many stocks are actually outperforming the forecast on earnings per share and revenue um, look at the different sectors uh, and, and so on to see if there are some sectors doing better than others but we will be able to see more of that when we get into next week. I will also be following it here on my stock scanner where we, of course, if we, for instance, 
have a look at let's just say the Danish Novo Nordisk here uh, I will go into of course we'll start to populate the, the the summary with the new numbers but we will also start to see some new numbers in the valuation chart where all of a sudden we can look uh, a year more ahead or the analysts are coming out with with a year more uh, the forecast for, for a year more ahead here. So there will be some interesting stuff here to look at and I will keep you updated on my thoughts on the market and where I think we are going. That's all for now. I wish you a, a very good weekend here and uh, take care of yourself and your money out there and I'll speak to you again shortly. Bye.